Rumsey, 29 and 3, a senior from Norfolk. In Class B, Scott Antoniak, 32 and 1, a senior from Omaha Gross, meets Nathan Swerzek. A uh, 30 and 1 senior from Albion. In Class C, Chad Wallace of Gordon, 29 and 7, a sophomore meets Ty Swan, 32 and 4 senior from Mitchell. And in Class D, Brad Varing, 36 and 0, a senior from Howells, faces Curtis Loosevelt, 24 and 10, a junior from Rushville. And immediately we have to talk about Brad Varing from Howells on a full right scholarship to Nebraska. I just talked about is a going for his third straight state title placed third as a freshman, only has two losses in his career, and holds the record for most career victories ever by a Nebraska and wrestler. He's, and he's going to work quick. He's got a, that near side cradle, and he's already getting back points. An intentional release there. He jumps out to a 5-0, 5-1 lead now with the, uh, the intentional release there. Varing is about as good a wrestler as I've seen at the state tournament. He's in, there's about five of them that rank right up there, and he's close to it. Yeah, without a doubt. He, he's Right now, as far as high school wrestlers goes, he's probably the most decorated wrestler in Nebraska history. Uh, the only wrestler, as a matter of fact, to win the Junior Nationals. He won it last year in the Greco uh, division. And like I said, he's the first Nebraska wrestler to do that. So. And it looks like the whole time he's just setting him up and setting him up in a tough... Uh, job here for Curtis Loosefelt is a junior from Rushville and uh, really in a tough position but uh, Curtis has had a good season 24 and 10 and, and beat some good wrestlers on the way here to the finals he won 5 4 6 1 and 3 2 so he had some tough matches and there goes varying right to work and gets a takedown and he's out there he's, he's out there in a situation that not very many guys in this building would want to be in and that's wrestling Brad Baring of Howell so you got to give him credit he's, he's out there he, uh, a lot of times you'll see guys kind of duck a tougher wrestler like that. They'll, they'll cut weight, they'll gain weight, do whatever they can, not to be at a 171-pound weight class. Meanwhile, no score in A or B or C. No scoring yet in that. Well, we did get no. a score in B now. We've as, got a uh, takedown by Scott Antoniak going to, going to work quick. He's uh excellent wrestler at 32-1 uh, and one is the... Uh, uh, was a runner-up a year ago at 160 pounds. To Brad uh, Cooper, who we just saw. Right. So he, he definitely is uh, one of the top wrestlers we have here as well. Now we have a stoppage in D. It looks like Varying ha has a bloody nose, and he sh I'm sure he wants to get back out there as quick as possible. He, one thing that I've been impressed with him down here, he's, he came here to put on a show. He's, he goes to work right away. He doesn't waste any time. But one thing we'll say about uh, Class C and Class E, uh, Ty, Ty uh, Swarm of Mitchell certainly has the... Uh, uh, the most colorful uniform. <laughs> the, the killer bees. <laughs> that's, a, that's what it looks like. Well, I tell you, that's, uh, you don't see that, that kind of uniform very often. Well, I, I was talking to some guys last night, and they said, well, you just have to be tough to wear a uniform like that. <laughs> uh, hey, meanwhile, Class A, no score between Andy Sistek of Ralston and Craig Rumsey of Norfolk. In uh, Class B, again, it's uh, Antoniak leading 2 to nothing over Nathan Swerzik. And uh, now it's uh, Brad Baring of Howells leading 9-2 over Curtis Loosevelt of Rushville. And it looks like uh, Ty Swarm has gotten the take. Oh, no, that's oh, the second period. Okay. That's still the second Boy. period. No, no change yet. It's still 0-0 zero, zero there. Chad Wallace on top still. Wallace, a sophomore from Gordon, the 29-7, and seven, has had a great year for sophomore and uh, now gets the escape. So uh, Wallace now leading it 1-0. Time ran out in the first period with no score in Class A between Andy Sistek of Ralston and Craig Rumsey of Norfolk. These two wrestled in the district finals with Andy Sistek beating Rumsey 6-5 to five in the districts. Rumsey was a uh, state runner-up a year ago in the Class A at 172 pounds. Sistek, meanwhile, was sixth last year in Class B at 160. But Sistek has had a great year. And as you said, a uh, win in the districts, which I think has got to be a psychological help to him. But Rumsey's tough. Well, it, it could work either way. It could be a motivator to, to Rumsey as well. I'm trying to remember who he wrestled last year in the finals. I know it was what, just an outstanding match ben, last year. Ben Perkins oh, from, right. from, from Creighton Prep, right. who is now at, at Iowa State. So uh, it was an outstanding match for Perkins. <laughs> That's yeah. what it was. There, yeah, was did, there was a reason why I remembered it. I remembered Ben Perkins. Ben Perkins, uh, very similar to Brad Varing of, of Howells, a very dominant wrestler. Uh, it would have been kind of a, a joy to see those two actually meet up at some point, and we may because Ben Perkins now over at Iowa State and then and, and Brad Varing coming down here to wrestle for the Huskers. They'll probably see each other in some big eight matchups here in the near, very near future. Well, we just had a, uh, 
There's a reversal in favor of Nathan Swerzek over Scott Antoniak. That ties that up two to two in Class B. Ty Swarm of Mitchell has gone up three to one, and I think we had them. It's uh, Chad Wallace that has the uh, of Gordon who has the uh, uh, unusual uniform, and uh, Ty Swarm uh, has the black uniform. But they uh, right now it's Swarm who it leads it. Three to one, and uh, over in Class D, it's uh, bearing pretty much dominating 13 to four, with 54 seconds to go in the second period, and uh, he's about to uh, put uh, Curtis Loosefeld in a pretty tough pin combination there, and I think it's just a matter of getting it's uh, he's, all over but the shout. Now. He's pinned all three of his opponents on the way here, and there's the fourth one. Four straight pins. And listen to this crowd. The crowd, a lot of them coming to their feet, knowing. Well, that Brad Baring, one of the top wrestlers ever to come out of this uh, state in high school wrestling and gets a lot of people up cheering for him. Well, I think uh, looking up there by the size that I've been to Howell, that might be the whole town. Yeah, <laughs> could very well be. I don't know. I saw, I saw a lot of uh, people. Uh, it looks like we might have a real serious injury uh, in Class B. Scott Antoniak, I didn't see what happened, but uh, they, they rushed in real quickly. To his to his aid, and that uh, match was tied at 2-2 at the time that happened. Meanwhile, he's, he's uh, moving around, which is I suppose that's a good sign. Uh, in Class A, it's now a one to nothing lead for Andy Sistick of Ralston, leading Craig Rumsey of Norfolk. Rumsey in the maroon uniform, Sistick in the red uh, singlet. And uh, now in uh, Class C, Chad Wallace of Gordon has a uh, bloody nose so they've had to stop the match there but Ty Swarm of Mitchell leading that match three to one. Still is, it, is it one to nothing now in favor of, of Andy well, Sistek over of Ralston in Class A. 27 seconds remaining in the second period. I'm sitting here thinking uh, RJ, the people of Mitchell saying, how come you said we had those funny looking uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> I just know that so somebody's probably called that hotline by now to make sure that, that we we understood that. But uh, it is uh, right now Ty Swarm leading. He was ranked number one. Chad Wallace, an outstanding wrestler too, ranked third coming in. And uh, Wallace working hard to try to get the escape, but Swarm staying right there with him. And as they uh, get set to complete the second period, and Swarm leading it three to one. There's a double warning for stalling in Class A officials, and a one point awarded to Andy Sistick. So he now takes a two to nothing lead as time runs out in the second period. And we still have uh, Antoniak still down, and that's going to be the match. Uh, he's apparently run out of his two minutes of injury time. I never saw what had happened. What a heartbreaker! So I know he, I looked at him to be the favorite coming into that match. He was actually behind four to two. I don't know how he got injured, but. It apparently must be something pretty serious. So Nathan Swierzyk of Albion will win by default, and he goes over to check out his opponent, and uh, Swierzyk will get the victory. Meanwhile, Ty Swarm picks up some more points in his match with Chad Wallace of Gordon in Class C, and Swarm now leading it 5-1. to one. And a, bitter way, a bittersweet way to win a state title, but it's still a state title for, for Nathan Swerzak. And like you said, he, he was leading at that time. Apparently, they hadn't put the points up when that injury occurred because they showed 2-2, and then the points must have been awarded to uh, make sure they had it afterwards. It's still 2 to nothing in Class A. Uh, Andy Sistek of Ralston leading Craig Rumsey of Norfolk, in, in, uh, which would be a little bit of an upset there, but Rumsey uh, still not out of it with a minute 32 to go, and Rumsey now, no, I don't think he got the escape. Now uh, a warning to Ty Swarm and Mitchell in Class C, uh, stalling warning, but he leads it five to one with 57 seconds to go in the third period. You hear the, you hear the applause from the crowd. That says Scott Antoniak walks off the mat. I kind of wonder if he didn't uh, maybe separate his shoulder just the way they were holding it. But you, it, you hate to anticipate what happened there, but obviously a pretty uh, pretty tough injury. I know I know that individual also has some plans to go on and wrestle uh, after high school and hopefully be able to make up for that a little bit uh, in his college career. So again we have two matches going here at 171 pounds in Class C. Ty Swarma Mitchell leading 5 to 1 over Chad Wallace of Gordon and in Class A it is Andy Sistick of Ralston leading Craig Rumsey of Norfolk by a score of 2 to nothing. A minute 12 to go in the third period in Class A. 40 seconds to go in the third period in Class C. Swarm, who placed sixth last year, Chad Wallace has never placed at the state tournament until this year. So two guys who really fought to get here uh, did have pretty good seasons on the way. 
Meanwhile, in uh, Class A, Andy Sistick plays sixth, and Craig Rumsey, as we mentioned, was a state runner-up last year. But Sistick leading it two to nothing right now with a minute to go in that match. Andy Sistick's very. Uh, a lot of these wrestlers that we see, some of these guys are doing quite a bit of wrestling over the summer in the cadet uh, nationals and, and junior nationals and Sistick is one of those wrestlers as well. He, he spent a lot of time over the summer trying to prove his technique and just stay in good shape for the upcoming season. We've got an injury timeout. And Ty Swarm is about to wrap up a state title in Class C as he wins it 5-1. to one. Ty Swarm of Mitchell, a state champion over Chad Wallace of Gordon. We're down to just one now in 171 pound weight class, Class A, and we're having injury time in that one. One thing about Chad Wallace, he's a sophomore, so we'll have at least a couple of opportunities. Swarm, a senior, does get that state title. So three of the four matches done now at 171 pounds. Again, Brad Baring of Howells uh, pinned his way all the way through the state uh, championship he match. Was, yeah, though I know he was behind in a match. Uh, Earlier this week, uh, of course, that was because he put an illegal hold on an individual. Well, okay, <laughs> and was okay. behind by one point I for, just, there had to be for a just a couple of seconds. Yeah, I'm sure there was a real threat there, too. <laughs> and that's not to say, and, and I know uh, Heath Petchy from uh, Pope John, who had been ranked uh, second all year and then got, uh, got uh, knocked off in the uh, quarterfinals. Uh, up to that point, the only losses Heath had were all the, to Brad Baring. So, and he had and he had to wrestle him all the time last year. So for guys that, you know, and Heath was an outstanding wrestler. You yeah, know, that's an unfortunate situation. It just really happens is. to be the wrong size. That's exactly wrong right. Wrong size, wrong age, wrong place. Here we go in Class A now with uh, 53 seconds to go in that match. Craig, Craig Rumsey trying to get the escape and does and makes it a 2-1 match. Rumsey trailing by one of our Andy Sistick, who's in the red singlet. Rumsey in the maroon singlet. The and there goes Rumsey. Takedown could win it. The thing you need to remember also, both wrestlers have been warned for stalling. So the next one would be a point. So Andy Sistick can't get defensive. He's He's got to stay on the attack as well. And he Ooh, was a close situation to getting a headbutt there. Both guys shooting in at the same time. It just happened to be Sistick was a little bit lower. And Rumsey's still fighting. However, Sistick does have a leg. But Sistick now has a little bit of an advantage with 14 seconds. And uh, if it, I think that was a good call there. The official say, uh, called stalemate. out a stalemate. No, like no one's going to improve their position. Right. They've got to get them back up on their feet and at least give both wrestlers a chance to win the match. That's an excellent job by the official there. There's Rumsey trailing it 2-1. to one. And uh, Sistick that time backing out a little bit and still backing out with four seconds, three seconds. And it looks like Sistick's going to hang on. And that's it. That's Andy Sistick scores a bit of an upset there. Two to one over Craig Rumsey of Norfolk. Sistick winning the state title, and Rumsey will uh, settle for his second straight uh, state runner-up. Nothing to be ashamed of. Just a tough match right there. It's funny what the adrenaline will do to it to an athlete after he gets done. He might be extremely tired while that last couple of seconds is wearing off, but as soon as he wins, boy, they're up and <laughs> up and running. Well, you know, <laughs> yep, uh, you know. Okay, let's go through the results now. 171 pounds, first of all, in Class A. Again, Andy Sistick, Ralston, a uh, two-to-one victor, but Craig Rumsey of Norfolk in Class B. It was Nathan Swirzik Albion winning by default over Scott and Toniak of Omaha Gross. In Class C, Ty Swarm of Mitchell, a five-to-one winner over Chad Wallace of Gordon. And in Class D, Brad Varing of Howells pins his way through the state to uh, championship, beating Curtis of Looseville to Rushville, and again, Varing ends his career unbeaten uh, this year and unbeaten a year ago as well only had two losses in his whole career now let's go through the state